Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Yeah. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome, for the first time ever on the podcast, Lil House Phone from the yes, No Jumper Podcast. Sir. You're leaving me hanging. You're leaving me hanging. You're leaving oh, me sorry. hanging. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Stevie Weeby. Yeah. How are you, coming, man? Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm excited you're here. I'm a fan of what you guys are doing over there. I look up to you guys, your, your guys' platform. Well, thank you yeah. very much, sir. How did you... Uh, we were talking about some crazy conspiracy stuff. We were. Yeah, we were. yeah. Because we we're talking about the Epstein. Very... This crazy documentary very, on Netflix. I was going to say very, very big fan, but <laughs> not no, of it. Not of Epstein, but I no, meant of the whole... Yeah. Just whatever's going on, I'm like, dude, this is fucking crazy. These I'll fools do. drink blood, and they love they love drinking blood and doing the satanic stuff, huh? Dude, these they like doing a lot of weird shit. Yeah, man. yeah. Um, do you believe the dude had his own island where he flew? Dude, people once there, once like, you get that much money, you can literally fucking do whatever you want. That's the fucked up part. And leave the kids alone. You know what I mean? If why no, do you, I know. can't they go I surfing know. or learn how to body surf? Do do something. Dude, other that's activity? what I'm saying. Like you know just. What I mean? When, when you're like a just a fucked up individual and you just start getting hella money and just have hella access to just whatever you want, yeah, it just you know it could turn out fucking ugly, man. It's weird as fuck, dude. Do you believe we? I I, I was so happy when um because I wasn't mad at you that you overslept because mm -hmm. I was like oh he's probably like me because I sleep like seven eight in the morning sometimes. Yeah, my sleep know? schedule is all over the place. It really just depends on yeah. what the fuck is going on. Do you go up down the YouTube rabbit hole? I'll go down the YouTube rabbit hole. Sometimes I'll go down the party rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go down to the just fucking, I'm just up, just fucking FaceTime with some random girl mm -hmm. <laughs> until fucking 8 a.m. Yeah. So uh, it's a lot that's, of different, that's, a lot that's of different fun. factors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've been talking to this girl in like Australia. And you, like, want, can you want to give her a shout out? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. just the, the girl shout from out, Australia. Shout out to Lex. She knows. Yeah, she, okay, she okay, knows okay. How'd you meet her? On Instagram, I guess. Oh, dude. No, but then, so you get flooded. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm in a relationship, right? Are you? For, yeah, I'm in a, four, oh, four years. Oh, I'm like, sorry to hear that, bro. <laughs> okay. I love, I love my girl. I love yeah, my girl. Of course, shout yeah. out. What's your name? Ailani. Shout out to Ailani. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I want to. So do you get flooded with DMs or what's the deal? Honestly. No. Yeah. There's more dudes in my DMs, honestly. They it's look up to you, dude. It's more like 16-year-old white boys. But they look DMs. up to you. No, it's sick. And that's why, like, I feel like I kind of have this, like, moral responsibility of, like, you know, not pushing too much bad shit onto them. Yeah. What do they usually say to you? Hey, bro, well, I'm, I'm very a fan of the... I love... Uh, hey, I love... Yeah, no. Joe it's, it's a lot of, like, oh, dude, tell Adam this. And I'm just like, leave me alone, <laughs> you know? Don't you or think like, that's the last thing he wants to do is yeah, talk to I know, yeah. boy, like the, yeah. the dudes? You know what I mean? I mean, I mean it's that. It's, you know, whatever, like, you know, music shit. Or are they like, oh, let me send you clothes. So how many of those do you guys get? Hey, listen to my <laughs> listen to my music. Listen to my music. I get the, I get those at least like 20 times a day. At least. Do you guys help them out or? Well, so don't you guys do a whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's so talk about like, it. Let's talk so about it's it. like, OK, we do a whole thing where. You donate and we play your music. How much? Hundred bucks. A hundred bucks to play a song. 200, 200 bucks to play it and repost it. I know it's a it's a it's so, a pyramid scheme of music. <laughs> but <laughs> dude, you, that's I mean. No, but it's it's a good opportunity. Like we've actually exposure, dude. We've and we've actually like found some really talented people from that stream before that yeah. I fucking listen to their music all the day. All yeah, the time yeah, now, yeah, you know? yeah. So it's a good opportunity. Whatever. Tune in every Tuesday. Okay, what's the name of that particular stream where people send in? 
Well, it's their just music. A, uh, so we do the No Jumper show, which is me, Adam, and Cam Girl. Yeah. Who referred me here. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to, to Cam Girl. Yeah. Shout out to Cam Girl. For making it happen. Thank yeah, you, man. thank you, so thank you. We do the No Jumper show yeah. every Tuesday night, and then me and Cam Girl do the stream afterwards. So it's just tune in. Oh, after. so you're doing double time, yeah. like you do we that. Fucking, yeah, yeah. We're on it, man. I want to get back to the roots. Like, how did you link up with Cam Girl? And then how'd you meet Adam? And how did that whole thing happen? Um, well. I think I met Adam just out. I like like gave him coke or some shit or some like the first time I met him or something. Like him was and his it a friend. Part, like off Melrose yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, just like nah. Yeah. This is oh, like this is like grimy warehouse. <laughs> oh, party oh right, days, right, right, right. You know? Like rave, like kind of yeah, like rave parties. Yeah. But more like like the like rap part. I don't know. It was like just uh, just out and about. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. We like exchange info. He he thought I was hella funny, and he just like asked me to come on the podcast one day. Yeah, yeah. And I was super like I was like far away from L.A. Where were you living at the time? Well, I was uh, I, I I live in Hawthorne over like okay. by LAX, but I was way out, way out by there. like UC somewhere. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was like at my friend's house, and I remember my name's house phone because I would have a very hard time keeping a cell phone service. All That's the time. how you got your name. Yeah, so. They my couldn't phone, contact you. Yeah, so my phone at the time only had Wi-Fi, right? Oh, and little I, house phone. You feel me? So it, it was like a joke. You <laughs> That's know? brilliant. Yeah, you know? So I remember. Dude, my, you, you know that about him? I have no idea. I had no idea. I, I just didn't want to question it. I, I just accepted it. I'm like, oh, nah, right, see, cool, cool. Nah, you got, cool sometimes name. you got to. That's you, a cool name. Sometimes That's you got to cool dive name. in, you know? Yeah, yeah. But so, it's even cooler because there's yeah, a story it, behind it. It's some real shit. And yeah. I used to like sell drugs and shit and all the fucking people would be like trying to call my house phone to like get me to go deliver it to them mm-hmm, or whatever and mm-hmm. i'm like i got caught up with my mom yeah. and shit and what does like, that make because i mean the farthest i went back in the 90s is selling weed you know like with slaying little like yeah. bags of weed but like d- d- does it raise the paranoia level like oh, okay who's coming at the door or well no see so this safety is the measures and stuff this is the thing though i'm not i wasn't like some super fucking trapper and i wasn't like trapping right 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 right, like right, right 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 what it was was i was just more of a social friendly guy who mm-hmm. did a lot of drugs and people just and people just knew that i had drugs or could yeah. get them drugs so it's personal stash you like, i would go. just like sell them drugs that i already pretty much had at a party mm-hmm. so then they start getting out of hand when people start calling my my they would house number your, and shit like yo <laughs> yo like let me get a fucking gram i'm like dude no this is not that type of party you know right 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 but look so i'm out far as fuck away from la and um adam sent me a text and he's like yo you want to come be on the podcast and i didn't see the text for like hours because mm-hmm. i wasn't on my friend's wi-fi yeah, <laughs> yeah and then i finally saw it and i like fucking gave my friend like the last 20 bucks i had in my wallet to drive me back to la to take me to the podcast, That's and what's up. I've been doing it for you know fucking three four years now. That's crazy. Dude. I mean, like um when you because uh, I just found that podcast through YouTube, but like yeah. when did it start? Like was there like a particular guest where you started seeing like it skyrocket? Because you guys had some big people on there. Yeah. Well, I mean, by by the time I came into the picture. I had already kind of like knew what it was a little bit. Like mm-hmm. he already like did like Puya and fucking, you know, like Ian Connor and I think even Lil Yachty and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Suicide Boys XXX. He he had already did. A lot I of like those. them. They're tight. Yeah, dude. Suicide Boys are hard, dude. Yeah, they are. There's the two white tight. dudes, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I think no, they're like, hard, dude. That's like one of their only interviews. I think. No, no, I like them. Yeah, they're yeah, super I like hard. them. They're super hard. That's like, like one of their only interviews online. No, they, they they they're 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 good rappers, oh, dude. They, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to them. Shout out to Suicide Boys. Um, so like, how do you so? Because I'm trying to learn from y'all, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, this sure. is like a small operation here. Is it, this like, is not the same apartment from previous videos. This is it. This is the, this is where I've lived for the last no, over No, it 50. looks way different. No, what do you mean? Oh, because they don't see that part. No, it's usually they see bathroom, the piano, piano and here. here. Yeah. Mm. Damn, yeah. It looks different. I don't know why. Did yeah. You, did you rearrange it? No, no. I got new, um, I, I got new Wi-Fi. So I had a, oh. dude. I had to go through Spectrum, and they forced me to yeah, get a new. Spectrum. They forced me to get a new box, and I, and then they didn't tell me I had to fucking get a new router. So mm. I'm like, what? Well, isn't that part of the deal? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, um, unfortunately, sir. Uh, you Where's your it. horny dog at? That was. Oh, oh <laughs> no, he's at my girl. Body. Oh, so you know about Kirby? <laughs> yeah, Kirby's yeah, shout horny. Out to Kirby. Yeah, 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 Kirby's yeah. horny, man. No, he's he, we got him fixed. We got him fixed. Yeah, <laughs> but oh yeah, yeah. So you you were do you saw some episodes? Yeah, yeah come yeah, on, yeah. man. I tapped in. Yeah. I'm not just come gonna come do something and not do some research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um. 
No, that's fine. I'm glad that most people don't. They just oh, show that's up. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, what if you're like a fucking complete weirdo and you're like gonna ask well, me? Well, I am. Go. I am weird in my own right. <laughs> no, but like, I know I do in weird a cool things. Ass way, but alone, I, like. I when I'm alone, I do weird stuff. <laughs> okay, like what? Give me, give me uh, some of your. Well, uh, give me some of your weirdest things. Well, that you my, do alone. my masturbation stuff's weird. Why? Why is it weird? Uh, well, sometimes I look up gra- granny. Uh, that's not weird. That's oh, super normal. That's normal. <laughs> Dude, what? I, love, I, was, I felt ashamed. I, you like Granny Cream Pie? Oh man, I'm. You like Granny Cream Pie? I'm looking up like BBW, okay. like grandma, like big butt mature grandmas. Okay, so what? That's what what, what do you? Want? I have a girlfriend, but you know, I'm an, I'm a dude. So yeah, when she's sure. I have to, you know, I have you got, to. You got to do what so, you got to do. Okay, so these are my. So I look up uh, Granny. So you you <laughs> you know about the Granny? Um, do you do um, what else do you look up? Um, it really depends on what type of mood I'm in. And you know what I do? A uh, pog cream pie. <laughs> Are you familiar with pog nation? Oh, no, but I know. I love pog. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, yeah, so, yeah, the, but what does so, it stand for? I don't even know what it is, but I... Th- fat ass white okay. girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, so, so Brenner, someone, you, do you know about pog? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pog cream pie. Pog, <laughs> yeah, pog, pog king pog. over here. Pog. So look, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. there, So there's this guy, Uh, his name is like the pog king. And he's like this, he's like this black dude who's like... He like had this viral video of him being like, "I like white girls more better. They're yeah. called pogs, like yeah. fat ass white girl." And like it went hella viral or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he's just like, I don't know. He's, shout out to him. He's funny as fuck. But yeah. um, yeah. So what I do is I usually will like associate it with like whatever like kind of crush I have at the moment. Oh, so you do the fan? You, you know, the nar- you do the narrative. You know, it's like, like <laughs> you come up to your so if it's narrative. like you know if it's fucking like you know. Dark hair Hispanic Jessica, I'll fucking like look up yeah, some, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I'll look up like like uh, Latina blah 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 and yeah. just kind of match it together. Ha, do you know? Are you do you know about Pacino's Adventures? No, what's that? So there's this full <laughs> name Pacino. It's but oh, he's like it's all like he like Brazilian and then it's all like lat it's all Latin based. Okay. It's just like one dude. I'm down for that. Yeah, yeah. He's so running look him it up. up. Yeah, P- Pacino Adventures. <laughs> yeah, have you heard about Pacino Adventures? Dude, he's got some sick ones. Brazil, like yeah, just South America. Yeah, yeah. But it's just one dude. Sometimes sometimes you'll click on some of the Brazilian ones and like mm-hmm. you'll see some ass and they'll turn around and it'll be a Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, baby. Do you look up? I don't know if I'm the only one, but mm. this is. I I'll admit it. Sometimes I don't need. I just want to see the. Uh, I go POV mm. solo dildo mm. riding. You know is that, that is that weird or is that normal? very very descriptive? <laughs> very, yeah, very, well, like, I type all that in. I type it all. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we so, got into this POV, dude. You solo, know, also no, also know a lot of porn stars. Right. So it's like I have to, I, I try to like avoid the ones that I. Like oh, that's know, right, because you, know? you guys have had, um, don't, haven't you had guests on No yeah, Jumper? Yeah, but like I mean, just in my own personal yeah, life, like yeah. not even really through that. I've so. had two. Yeah. Asa, shout out to my girl. That's that's my home girl, Asa. Asa Kirby, Kira. Kirby was trying to fuck on her too, right? Maybe, maybe. And then D- Dana Diarman has been here. Oh, Sasha Gray. Sasha. Yeah, I had Sasha, Sasha Gray. Gray. I had Sasha Gray. Shout out to Sasha Gray. Yeah, I, I like that you, I like that you introduced her as uh, just an author, and you didn't even because you know she's tr- you know she's no for too, sure do it for no, trajectory. It, you know it was I mean? really respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I, I noticed that. I was like, shout out to him for that. Do you ever go through this? Like, once you have them as a guest, you could no longer, they're off. You can't but do that anymore. That's what I'm anymore. saying. One time. I can't do it. I can't look them up, especially with Austin. She's like a sister to me. Yeah, like, I, I can't look her up. Yeah, like my like my homegirl, uh, Arietta, Arietta Adams. You should mm-hmm. look, look her up if you don't know her. Mm-hmm. I actually, I should have her do the show. She's sick. That's she's what's up. Sick. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, like, you know, I'll be, like, scrolling through, you know, Pornhub and, like, oh, here's the homegirl with her asshole spread open yeah. with cum dripping out of it, you know? Do you do you just what's your method? Do you just use your hand or because I went through a, a <laughs> like a you, have you have you have you this. done the pocket vagina thing? No, or? I have not. No, you haven't done it. No, I haven't, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm you haven't. Like, you could put oil in it and stuff too. <laughs> you know what? I, okay, if anybody right, right, wants right. To, if anybody wants to surprise me with anything, buy me the the. Uh, me to, do you want me to get you one? I could go no, through awesome. I, no, I got you. No, you want I want the I want the fuck my big ass thing. Like the oh, thing I got where, one in the closet. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Let me see it right now it's hidden deep in there no There's way a, I, it's can you show me after it's a black butt <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell you, you yo you know I, I had it You're it amazing. was so it was so heavy it's so heavy i i put the oil in it and then so i so i had it hold up i was lying on my back 
and I was looking at videos, and so it got lopsided. So what happened is I oh, had, so you were trying to like no 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 like, hear me like, yeah yeah, yeah. Yo, you're so I had wild. my phone here and then I it, it it was got lopsided. So when I it got lopsided, all the oil no. poured all over my sheets. So I got discouraged. So I got mad. So I'm like, no, I'm still going to do this. So I like try to uh, wash it down. I sprayed it down and I put a towel on there and I put it so I could go on top of it. <laughs> yeah, you should have started real off top. like that. Real t- <laughs> no, Was that your first time trying to use it? Yeah. It felt, why would you, it felt good. Though. I know, but why it would you start good. off with trying to have it on top of you? Because I wanted to do, I like that. I like wanted to make it seem like, but it's like that thing. Yeah. I feel like it's so heavy and just yeah, like well, I wasn't used to it. I'm like, oh, this is heavy, and I like, I like, I was touching it. It was soft, and I put, and then I poured How the much oil. It? I don't. It was a gift, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody gift me one. Do you want? What do you want? A, what do you want? A tenchu egg? You want a? Uh, what do you want? A vagina? Like I want pocket the vagina. Ass one. I want the big ass thing. You want the whole thing, the torso. Yeah. <laughs> wait, so wait, 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 so wait. Is that not what you're talking about? I have the torso. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want the torso. This. We got if my mom watches this, she'll be so ashamed. I hope, like uh, like I, hope I do this. I hope my mom isn't watching yeah. this. My mom's in the hospital Are right now. Are you open actually. to using something like that? Dude, I just told you yeah, five yeah. times I wanted one. You you want one. I hope my mom isn't watching this. She's actually Let me, let me see. I let me, I'm going to show you. I might have one right here. You got pictures of it? No, I have like this. Dude, this is amazing. I'm so glad that you have this because I want one. Let me grab one from the bathroom. You got a, a little freaky mask right here, too. <laughs> Horny man. Oh, shit. This one looks very used. This one, yeah. Like. Dude. So this one, so this is how it works. I'm glad that this, this is a fun one. I didn't think we'd be talking about this, but um, so um, it comes with. <laughs> he just like grabbed the lips. It oh. comes with. I don't, I'm missing this, because there's like a, a cap. You have to screw it on. So what happens here is, I know it's dirty, but um, <laughs> yeah, this is another thing. I'm glad you brought this up because I had my own personal technique. I have a heater. See that orange thing? It's a Black and Decker heater. So what I would do is, <laughs> I would, I would, uh, I would pour the oil, or uh, I would use Vaseline too. I would, okay. I'll admit, I'll put, va- I'll, I'll dip Vaseline in here, and then the this heater. Seems like you so much like preparation. Yeah, there's thought put into it, and so I heat it up, wash my hands with like Dial, you know. So okay. I'm like, I it's just like OCD, Sanitary. OCD, yeah. 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 And so, and then I'll, I'll queue up, I'll get my, like, X video, I'll get it all ready, mm-hmm. put my, I always like to use headphones. <laughs> Why headphones? <laughs> so I could, I don't want it to be playing out loud, I want to, like, uh, I want the you, whole audio I, experience. I usually, like, turn it down, like, I, I, I mute my phone all the way to the bottom and then turn it up one notch yeah. from the bottom. <laughs> So it's super low. <laughs> and conspicuous too. Yeah, you know. Um, so yeah, and then so I'll put this near the heater, mm-hmm. and um, and then I go directly. Let's say this is the heater. I'll go like really close, so it gets really inside the uh. hole. So if, with the Vaseline, do you do it, your girlfriend's vagina like that too? Before no, you, you know, <laughs> no, 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 no. You just put the I heater right by the, her. The, 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 as you can see, this is. Yeah, I haven't used this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so Dude. that's the way I used to do it, but. I even have a grosser, a lot oh, grosser no. way if you want to hear it. Go, just lay it out there. Okay, Let's so. Let's switch over uh, after this, though. Oh, you want to say- <laughs> I want to ask about this fresh dive. Oh, thing. okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, I, I would, I. I got sick of using my hand. I got sick of using this. Yeah. And I After got, a while, to, I I got to a point where I'm like, fuck, if I, when I nut, I don't want to like get the paper towel. And yeah. Like, so I, I just leave it sometimes. Yeah. Just let it dry. <laughs> right. Right. So I, so one night I decided to, oh, I'll just use a condom and I'll just jerk off with a condom. Mm. And so you just unfold the condom and then I, I just, I'm like, oh, well, it's kind of dry. So I, I just squirted lotion. <laughs> Squirted lotion in it. In the condom? Yeah. Or outside of the condom? Inside of it. So it's kind of, you're kind of replicating. <laughs> just hear me out, little house phone. You're kind of replicating like this thing, but, but you're. With the condom. Yeah. Wow, dude. So let's go under the fresh I love, thing. I love, <laughs> yeah, let's I, get off this way. I love the attention to detail. Yeah. Well, you know, that. you know, this, this is, we're a lot alike, I you think. Know, no, no, for sure. We're a lot alike. For sure. Um, so this is. 
Shout out to Rick, by the way. Yeah, so these are samplers, and this is how I how I first started oh. making beats. So this is, I got this. Um, I'm glad you brought this up because this has like sentimental value to okay. me. Um, when I went to Arizona State, uh, I had a homie. He was from New York. He was a DJ, mm -hmm. and um, there was like local rap crews that we'd go to these shows like. Uh, like battling it, shit. No, no, not battling. It would be like the alcoholics or the far side would come through and mm -hmm. it'd be right by campus. So that's that's what we would do on a Friday. Okay. We wouldn't go to like frat parties. Yeah, we'd go, okay, that. we're gonna we're gonna go to the show. Okay. And so but but before these major acts like like opening up for black sheep or opening up for whoever Dell, it would be the local group from Air Tempe. Yeah. And so they were pretty tight. And really? I'm like, oh, these guys are local, and then, but they made their own beats. So I would try, I like would bump into one of them. His name was Jimmy the Mantis Claw. Um, Jimmy a, the Mantis. Yeah, Claw. there was a crew called Supermarket. Okay. And they were like the main dudes. They were always doing the shows for these big acts coming into town. I'm like, so I, I there's this place called Headquarters with it was a bong store, like okay. a smoke shop. Yeah, yeah. And I'd go in there because you'd get the flyers from the smoke shop. Yeah. Okay. And so I bump, I would bump into them and I'd be like, hey, like I was trying to figure out how do you make, how are you guys doing your. Me, this is before computers. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, how are you doing Damn. your music? How are you making your beat? Like, how are you doing that? And you know, like with producers back then is like jedi secrets yeah they didn't want to tell you how they did their shit well like because like now think about how easily like replicated like certain sounds are and like certain yeah. producers are you know it's like yeah yeah you yeah you have to go to that producer to get that sound exactly anymore. You can just go and to right some... now there's programs where you could get the, oh. the kit the drum kit or whatever you can fucking look up someone splice splices kit splice and then just take their yeah you can just take jack their, their hosties yeah. yeah so back then so I had I met a, a homie um in the dorm. He lived in a different dorm, but he, he had a two turntables and he had vinyl in his dorm room. Mm -hmm. And then I, he was like, and then I met another guy that was trying to do music Kendall, and we're like, oh, we want to do like, how do we record? Because yeah. before we were just like whatever. Being assholes. Yeah, they yeah. Them. And so he's like, he sold this to me, mm -hmm. but he didn't really explain how this worked or what it was. <laughs> he just had to like but I go, it out. this is what I need. What is this? He goes, no, that's all you need. He's like. The force to be with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So what what this did is I didn't know where to start. I'm like, what? There's eight buttons? And I'm like, what the fuck? And then you can put batteries in it, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, well, what is this? And he goes, it's a sampler. I mm. go, well, what's a sampler? He goes, you sample sounds on it. And I go, oh, yeah, what the fuck does that mean? I, I, what does that mean? And so it was such a, like, gruesome, like, process mm -hmm. where I, there's, like, uh, there's, like, um, a local record store near campus and then I would try to get jazz records or just anything I could loop or like when I found out what yeah. this could are these do. All records right there? Yeah, those are all records. Yeah. But then but then like I was uh at my folks house in Gilbert, it was like winter break and I'm like I had this I brought this back home from the dorms and I turned it on and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna figure this out. But I didn't have any of my records or I had a Beatles C D like Sgt. Mm -hmm. Peppers. Mm -hmm. And then I took it through the CD player uh, RCA into these holes. Mm. And I just sampled like just regular Beatles, weird, obscure Beatles songs. I'm like, oh, I have like four seconds to sample this, mm. you know? And then and then, then I figured it, it out. I'm like, well, what do I need? What do you need to make the basic hip hop track? Yeah. Oh, a break beat. I okay. need a, some kind of beat where it loops perfectly, right? Yeah, and so that's when it, it just opened up. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll, like I'll put the there. drum beat, like the dopest break beat I could possibly find on a break beat CD or whatever, a record, and I'll just put it on four, and then I'll just have it loop the whole, you know, the mm. whole, it's like a pause tape, you know? So okay. I'm like, oh, okay. And then, what? oh, I have all these other options. I could put anything on these other buttons. So that's when it just, that's when I figured it Open out. Open up the whole Pandora's yeah, box. Yeah, dude. And I'm like, oh, I could put a horn or upright bass on, you know. You know what's crazy? So, like, I started rapping around the same time that I started doing the podcast. Well, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I want to talk about your music trajectory. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah well, yeah. Like, I, I always, like, made music, but I didn't take it. I really didn't take it seriously until, like, a couple, like, maybe, like, a year ago, two years ago. But what made you, what made you, like, take it seriously well just like i have this one song that um it just started getting hella fucking streams out of nowhere and like people just fucking loved it and like you know like most of the songs that i made up until that point were kind of just like joking around and like you know they had like maybe hundreds of thousands of views you know cup, lot, I mean, like you know whatever and yeah. then this one had like millions and i was like oh millions shit. on youtube well like two million on youtube on the video 
maybe three million on SoundCloud and like three million on Spotify or some shit. And I was just like, dude, what the fuck? Like, what, like what, what were you using to record it? Um, so funny story about that. This whole song is I was on tour. It was like it was the No Jumper tour. Yeah, it was, uh, Smoke Perp, mm-hmm. Lil Pump, Adam Twenty Two, Cam Girl, Lil House Phone. Rojas on the beat, who's a producer. That's crazy. Right? And we go on this big tour or whatever. Um, a lot of drugs, alcohol, crazy shit involved. I got kicked off of the tour. Why'd you get kicked off? <laughs> like, how do you get kicked we off? Had to- we Your had a break. We had a tour. Yeah, I know. We. <laughs> We had a break. We had like a break in between, and uh, I was like texting Adam, like, "Oh, hey, when are when are uh, when are we meeting up so we can go to Arizona?" And they're like, "Oh, like they don't want you back on the tour." And I was like, "All right, oh, you're wilding out." I guess so. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, but honest- that, don't you wild out on tour? You you, you get turned up. You get was, turned up on tour, don't you? It was some weird shit, man. You party but after the thing, right? Hey, man. I yeah. guess I guess I was partying harder than everyone else, but that's not the case. But anyway, but that's what people do on tour. It, it was so long ago. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Whatever. But so while I got kicked off the tour, I was back at home and kind of just like, damn, you know, whatever. And um, I just made this song. I made that song. When no, I, what inspired you? Did you just do it on the fly? Like, were you like, well, what? I, what made you I, do? I was kind of sad about um, the getting tour. kicked off the tour, especially. <laughs> so no, no, no. Yeah. It, I was, but that, was maybe sad. that needed to happen. Exactly. It kind of put me yeah, in check. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to go to the Arizona show really bad because, like, one of my friends with the ASU. Me too. I, I, I went seen, there too. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I, I hadn't seen him in a long time. And, like, you know, I had girls lined up already in yeah. Arizona. Like, it was. You both, live at the dorm? I don't know where that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, he didn't live at the dorm. He, like, him, him, and our, him and our other friend had an apartment, like, close by. I probably know about those apartments. Yeah. I yeah it was fucking too. lit. I used, to, I used to get faded out there, dude. It's a yeah. blur to me. It's a blur. It was fun. That yeah. whole tour is a blur. So but. you're in Tempe then. So you hit Phoenix, Tempe, Tucson, no. well, maybe. We were supposed to. <laughs> right, right, well, right, they, right, right. They hit it. Yeah. I didn't hit it. So yeah. I was really like kind of down about it. And I was like, you know what? Fucking, I don't know. I'm going to go record or whatever. And I was on Twitter. I was on Twitter. And, uh, shout out my homie Filthy from mm-hmm. Working on Dying. Mm-hmm. They like produced like all of the last little Uzi album. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So um, I was on Twitter and I guess I was just scrolling through and someone like tagged him and was like oh you should sample this anime uh tokyo ghoul oh that's what's up yeah, and that's a sick sick idea and i heard it and i was like nigga i'm about to sample this shit <laughs> and we sampled it and then we made my song called tokyo goons and all the fucking anime nerds and shit went crazy i still have never seen the show that's <laughs> people ask me oh, oh i is... thought you were a fan of no, it not oh, at all. Right, this, right, is, right. this is my first time revealing this because people ask me all the time do i all watch right. it and I'm like, no, dude. I just so happened to come across someone telling my other producer friend to, to, to sample, sample this. It. So, were, like, do you sample off vinyl or like just the cartoon? Oh or? no, we were just in the fucking in the studio. We like cl- uh, typed in, you know, Tokyo Ghoul season one theme song. Ripped. Oh, it you from, just ripped this ripped theme it from song YouTube and looped it a little bit and then made Damn, a beat around that's it. Crazy. Yeah, man. How'd you do the drums on it? Would you make? Um, I didn't do it. Well, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm trying to learn, like, cause I'm like old school. Like, yeah, I use yeah. these. I'm trying so, to look new production. My homie uses like Reaper or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like loop, like the she there, she there. Mm-hmm. We loop that, for, and then just added kicks just and added, snares around yeah, it. Everything around it, piano, fucking everything. And then what? How'd you get the idea? Like, would you know what to write about? Or you just oh, like, I I'm just know. gonna I just start fucking freestyling, like. You know, and then like, it just worked out. Yeah, there's like a line in the song uh, where I say she she think I'm famous. So she's sucking on my anus, and I like, I like bend over in the video and like spread my ass in the video. That's crazy, and that went and viral. Up, up until that point, I had never gotten my ass ate by a girl either. So it was like me yeah. just, it was me just like trying to be funny, to be honest. Dude, do, do, <laughs> dude, dudes love it, huh? Um, I, yeah. I, I had this girl do it to me one time. It was. Fine. I like how it went from your music, or it goes <laughs> it from like from a serious <laughs> topic to me breaking this out. Like, so anyway, you put oil in here. <laughs> It's like all over the place. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Dude, I've been um, I've had a really all over the place weekend, dude. I hear you. No, I want to get ser- like have you me, I think I'm going not through a depression, but I feel like I'm not saying we're living during the end days, but I kind of do. I kind of do. Kind of might be, man. Because like But maybe every generation felt know, like this before. I, no, no. I think there's something like really fuck really it, fucked up going yeah, it's, on. It's something like weird the in Illuminati, the air. like someone's like doing their final move to like yeah. Make this a communist nation or like some man, like dude. New World Order, you know what I mean? To, e- 
you know, because I'm scared. They're telling us we can't leave. This is the curfew. Put on the mask. Shut your mouth. Don't leave. You know, I'm scared. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking be in, yeah, like living con- like this. All like the, yeah, yeah, dude. I'm like, I can't go fucking see my Australian. Exactly. Girl. Don't you want to take a flight over there or have wow. fly her out here well, and have a good time? She's gonna fly me out there. But, there you but, go. You know, but. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Like, to be honest, dude, it's just like it's so much going on right now. And just crazy. Like, I don't know. I just I've had a very like eye opening weekend. Like my, my mom went to the hospital. Is she OK? I mean, I thought everything was OK at first. And then I got a call back that she was in the ICU and in critical oh, condition. Dude. And it was like me, my mom. I mean, me, my sister, my nephew and my aunt like went to go visit her or whatever. Right. And. It was in this shitty little rundown, like little hospital, and like they like are not giving us any information. They're I not, hear you. I've they been won't there let too. us. Yep. They won't let us in and all that shit, right? Yeah. And on the way there, so I, my sister's older than me, right? Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. She's yeah. like thirty-seven, and I'm twenty-six. Yeah. So, like, my sister's like older, you know, has her shit together or whatever. And um, the 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 lady from the hospital is like explaining. Like something went wrong during the procedure with my mom and my sister starts losing her shit right. while she's driving us though to the hospital. So it's like a semi truck in front of us, semi truck on the side of us, and I'm like, "Yo, like, calm Just down," chill. you know. And we get to the hospital and like, you know, because of COVID, they're not letting people visit and shit like that. And my sister's already f- losing her shit. My nephew is like 12, so he can't go in. And then my aunt. Had a fucking leg brace on, so I didn't want her to like walk all the way through the hospital. It's crazy. I didn't want to go see my mom like that, but I'm like, fuck, like I kind of have to be like the strong, you know, yeah, 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 man yeah, yeah. of the house or whatever. And you gotta show up, though. No, you for gotta show sure, up. You gotta dude. show up for and, your family. Yeah, and for honestly, sure. I'm really glad that I did. Good, good, good. It's so, good you did. So we like, you know, they weren't supposed to even let me in at all, you know. Yeah, so I hear they, you. I mean, they're being real weird about like. I mean, I understand it though. It's like, yeah. You know, no, you no, know, they're taking safety precautions, but no, for sure. Like I fucking, I think with family though, like immediate well, that, family, dude, well, that's they why should they, let you in, bro. That's why they did. You know, come it was, on, like, it's my mom, and she it's was your in, mom. She was in intensive care. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, let yeah, me yeah. in, and it was crazy because um, they like had her on this breathing tube. She's plugged up everywhere and all this shit, and like, you know, like I walked in, and I like kind of started like losing my shit for a second, and I kind of like it was like held it together. And then, um, you know, I, I, like, went up to her, was, like, holding her hand, like, talking to her and shit. I'm like, I'm, I love you. Like, I'm here. And she kind of, like, opened her eyes a little bit. She kind of, like, opened them again. And yeah. then, like, the last time, I, you know, I kept, like, calling her name out and just, like, whatever. She, like, completely, like, opened her eyes and, like, looked me dead in the eye. And it was, like, the nurses were, like, high-fiving, like, oh, shit. Like, she hasn't been this responsive, like. You oh, know, so you did all. that. You did yeah, that. and it was like it made me like, damn, like that's crazy. She really like felt my presence or my energy or something, Dude. and you know, things have been going a lot better since then. She called me today on her cell phone. That's I was crazy. like, what the fuck, you know? And um, so you're the one that did it. You I should... mean, I'm not saying I'm no, but it wasn't your miracle, Sean. I know, but she looked into your eyes Dude, and it you're was the. Like, it was. It was like you know what I mean. Like. I, I could tell that she felt my presence and it that felt cool. fucking. She doing good. She doing better. She's doing a lot better because she was like on a fucking breathing breathing like. Thing. Yeah like yeah yeah yeah. The respirator. Yeah yeah. No yeah. not a re- like, oh, no. but the like, respirator is like a mask. But okay. she had like a whole two. Oh in her nose. No like going down her throat. That oh was, like, damn. Was, you know like. Yeah yeah. It was fucking really scary to see her like that, but just to know that these nurses like I you know I was like kind of judging the book by its cover at first of the place. Yeah, but, I know, but I feel where you're coming from cuz cuz nice. a lot of these a lot of these nurses they're yeah. doing their job, but you could tell they don't really yeah, give no, a fuck. I know, and it's like because my dad just passed last August. Oh, I'm sorry oh, to no, hear that, it's, bro. It's, it's all I, I did a whole music project on it bro. to get it out. Yeah, uh, sure. to get it out of me. But, yeah. but I, I just I realized just dealing with that the nursing home, some of them were cool. Yeah, but you could tell, dude, they deal with so many of these patients, man. You and know? like that was one of the first thing I noticed is like you know it's hella people around on the computers and all that yeah. shit. Yeah, and my mom is just sitting here like plugged up to this shit, and I'm just like. Dude, like, you know, like these. Not like that they, not that they don't give a fuck, but it's like no, no. You know, but just don't. think of this: put yourself in their shoes, right? Yeah, exactly. You got like all these people, all your patients, right? And then you're like, they don't want to fucking clean up shit. Because you know. they don't like my dad's pressing the button like when he was a lot like I have to pee you know and then they're like eh, eh, ignoring ignoring it's like at least do your job you know what I mean and Dude, like got, have got, a better attitude than that you we, know we I mean? got to the point where me and my sister because they gave us a direct line to the ICU uh, department so we wouldn't have to like 
call the hospital and wait to get transferred yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. They gave us the direct line. And literally, they had to tell us to stop calling because we were, um, we, well, we, dude, we kept like, checking up on our mom too much, you know? Dude, it's like, it's understandable, dude. You yeah, know what I mean? You know? Yeah, that's the hardest thing, man. It's like, you know, that's the thing is no one preps you like Fuck having no. a mom and dad. No one preps you like growing up, schooling or whatever. Mm -hmm. No one preps you for any shit like that. Yeah. You just kind of have to learn that shit when it happens. And that's the yeah. fucked up part. Well, see, my mom is very realistic and very like, you know... She has like really bad diabetes, and like my grandma passed away around the same age that my mom is now. What what age bracket is that? Like fifty to sixty. I hear you. Almost, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. And, we have uh, strokes in our family, like strokes yeah. and shit like that. So she and like you know, it's like her 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 health hasn't been the best, you know, yeah, in the yeah, last yeah, couple yeah. Of years. So she's been kind of like warning me and preparing me for stuff. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, this. yeah. And I honestly, I feel like that's why. Like I'm, I'm kind of. I'm a, I'm a mama's boy, totally, like, you know. Me too, like, I love my mom. I fucking mom. still live with her. I, I, I text my mom every day. Oh, she's in Arizona. I text her every day. I fucking, yeah. you know, like, like I'm, I'm there with her every day. I yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, pay the rent. I help her no, up and I down the it. stairs, help you. her with the groceries and That's all that shit. That's good for you, man. Good for you. So it's like, I felt like I needed to go and fucking, yeah, yeah. you know, like, just go see what was going on and figure it out and all that shit. But what, what about your pops and all that? I don't. You tell me. I don't oh, know that okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I do. No, no. But on Father's Day, she did. She like wrote his number down on some paper. And I was like, you should call him. Blah blah blah. And actually, I'll try to call him this week just so I can let him know what's going on. With Where's my mom he living? And Where's he at? Um, that nigga is either in Florida Damn. or in Jamaica. I Damn, don't even know. Pretty <laughs> different places. <laughs> So he's Jamaican. He, so he just dipped? He's Jamaican. Yeah. They met in Flint, Michigan. I don't know if you know where that is. Oh, yeah. I've watched Michael Moore's documentaries. Uh, yeah, that's like yeah. a pretty rough. That's where my mom's from. Damn, that's Born a rough area, raised. dude. Born that's a raised. rough, yeah. Also, I want you to look into Flint, the Michigan. local Flint rap scene right now. It's going fucking insane. Flint, Michigan? Dude, some of my favorite artists right now are from oh, Flint, Michigan a, and surrounding areas. A lot areas. of that's all they got. Dude. Because their it, housing is crashing. It's and, so grimy yeah, and gutter yeah. and like real and fucking, I don't know. Good for them, dude. So no, they have no. a scene in Flint. There's a yeah, rap so, scene in Flint, Michigan. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to name you off a couple of them. Uh, yeah, let's 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 give them some shout Rio, right now. Rio, the young OG. Okay. Uh, RMC Mike. Mm -hmm. We got AK Bandemont, who's from Grand Rapids, though. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Crispy Life Kid. YSR Grams, it's like they're all from Michigan, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like I don't know. The Michigan rap scene is fucking going crazy right now. It's do, you, like, do you do you live there for a minute? Not at all, but it's just. Where'd you grow up? Uh, here. Okay, okay. I was born. I was born in San Diego, and then. Uh, me moved. too. Really? Where? Yeah. Sharps? I don't fucking know. Oh uh, yeah. I, well, see, my mom. That'd be weird if you said <laughs> Sharps. I'd be like, okay, well, look, you're like, I was in room so, twenty three. Like, we're well, in the same room as me. Well, yeah, same time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When's your birthday? August twenty fifth. August thirteenth. Okay, and then These August. Stevie, we are best, best friends now. 23rd. Yes, sir. Leo gang, let's go. That's crazy. Leo That's world. Crazy. So look, so my We're mom. All August. August babies. That's uh, weird. Chief Keith, also August. Lil B, also August. That's weird. Lil Uzi yeah, Vert, yeah. also August. That's crazy. Young Thug, August. I read horse. I believe in that shit. I believe in it too, man. We're you the read best. that shit? I mean, not really, but. Yeah. Now that I don't believe in it, I just haven't tapped in enough. Yeah. I don't know enough about it to have an opinion, you know? So did you, are you religious at all? Are you, you're not religious at all? I or? have, I prayed more this weekend. Me too. Than I've ever prayed in my whole I'm life. I'm reading the Bible now again. I, I got to pull it out, dude. I haven't read it in 20, over 20 years. I got to pull it I'm out, I'm reading bro. it now, during these times. I know, it's probably scary. Check this it's out. It's freaking you out. This is what I'm doing. I'm not reading it like I'm. I believe in the religion. I'm reading it like a tarot card. Like, like a tarot card. Mm. So what I do, my girl taught me this. She's like, read it like a tarot card, babe. Just meditate for like a minute. And wherever your finger, wherever you open, that's what you're supposed to read. Damn. So I read, I, I talked about this in my uh, my last uh, episode of my vlog. Because I, 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 I struggle with the dry nut sack. So like dry, like... <laughs> Your response is so funny. What, like, I always had dry skin down there. They don't judge oh, me. Oh, no, no. I no, thought no, you no, meant no, like, no, your, no. like your semen in your nuts. No, no, up. no. The skin. Mm. I always had Why like an ashy. No, I always had an ashy, like <laughs> flaky. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're laughing with me. I always had flaky nut skin. <laughs> and uh, my ex 
girl, my Sorry, ex ex girlfriend broke up with me because of it. Why? Because one morning she'd be like sucking. Your no, nuts no, no, and you're no, like, no, get, no, get no. no. She had white sheets, so one morning she, we got in a fight, and she goes, "You see what I have to deal with?" And she grabbed the white sheets and went like this. And I saw because the sun was coming through the window. I saw. This is so I saw, scenic. I saw like the flakes, like it was a grip of just like flakes. Nut just flakes. But it was only on your nuts, or it's just, just like your nuts. whole like no, no, lower. No, just my nuts. Wow. I have a daily maintenance I do. Really? Yeah. Maybe you gotta exfoliate or and and then like yeah, moisturize you know what? after. I, I, people were saying uh, I need to use maybe coconut oil. Yeah, just dip yeah, your whole yeah, sack yeah. into. Yeah. The, into but into but the this co- is she used to give me hints. She'd go like this. She'd say. Uh, honey, you should try taking hotter showers. I was like, no, that's and probably going like, to make I you. I knew where she's getting at now. She's like, oh, she was trying to get me to moisturize, like, you know, mm. my, uh, and I would say, no, 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 I don't want hot, you know, I would like fight with her. Mm. But anyway, so this Bible verse said um, something about like, like a dry ball, like being a dry, the first thing I read was being, remember Ren? Yeah, it's like crust. No way. Uh, no, a dry crust. It said, what? It, 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 the first thing I read was, it was speaking directly. This is in the Bible. It said, dry crust. It's better to be a dry crust alone or something like that. <laughs> so I knew God was talking to me. Wow. Dude, dude I'm, 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 no, I'm not bullshitting no, you. This no, I is know real. You are. I'm not making this up. Dude, that's Who beautiful. else would that be talking about? Dry it, crust. Brent, did I... The full verse was crazy. It said better to do that, but to be in a household feasting or something like that. Mm. So it was telling me, oh, it's better to be like where I'm at. Yeah. With like my com- dry nuts. And be sack. comfortable with that. Yeah, and be comfortable with that. Damn. Then like like a rich ass mansion eating like a huge Thanksgiving dinner. That's the way I interpret mm. it. Yeah, no, for so, sure. Yeah, that, so I'm telling you, I'm reading the Bible, but in that Damn. way, yeah, yeah, more personal. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna you try should try that. it, dude. Yeah, and my and mom, I'm not religious. I don't believe in religion. I'm against mm. it, but I believe in spirituality. No, for sure. My mom is very religious, and you know like, what I mean? like, dude, I fucking, I just had like a, like a normal combo. Like I was like talking to the bro or something. I was just like, hey, God, it's it's your boy. I'm like, you know, if you let my mom through this, I'll fucking get all my shit. I promise. You dude, know? I think there's a battle going on for good and evil, like good versus evil. There's like, and then I think what's happening now with the COVID and all the shit that's happening, mm-hmm. it's like trying to like lower our frequencies and mm-hmm. shit. Like where, so like the elite, because I think there's things behind, like there's an elite Illuminati, whatever you want to call it, that are like controlling. I think what's next, they're going to try to uh, vaccinate us or microchip us. I mean, and they're gonna try to get rid of paper money because if you if you peep are. out COVID, they're like, uh, we don't accept money because the virus is is on the paper money. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's scary. And like, I feel like that shit is so easily like you could just wipe out someone's fucking. I, you just shit read my so mind. Easily, you just read you my know? mind. Because like, check, you just read my mind. Because you know? I was that's crazy. You said that last night. I was uh, listening to this dude named uh, Jordan Maxwell. He knows about all this shit, mm-hmm. and he said that it, the, they get, they're gonna. Uh, they di- they're gonna implement just digitized money or like like you know like uh coin oh uh, what's that uh, yeah the coin based shit yeah yeah all, all that. that shit yeah bitcoin and all that mm-hmm. but then with the digital you know the digital digital shit your bank account what is that you can fucking just wipe that's it. a num- that's an account number mm-hmm. they could just boop erase it and then all your savings and checking all your money is gone. gone dude yeah so what's that gonna do but then also like if I have a huge box of money somewhere too what is that like you know. Well, if they get rid of paper money and they force, I think this new world order shit, they're going to be like, okay, this is a new world order. We're getting rid of all this old shit. Now, no money, none of this. You're going to have to, all your credit card information, all your banking, all your driver's license, you're going to have it yeah, under your beep. skin. Yeah, like just a scanner, you know, yep. like at the grocery store. Yep. So it's going to go beep and it's going to have your name, your birthday. Your How social- far into the future do you think we are into think- all this? You think we're we're in it now? Okay, this is this is I might be crazy, but I think think I cuz cuz the Illuminati they love they uh, 33, they like threes, right? Mm. 33, right? So I think it's going to there's 2000. a third event cuz we had the Floyd shit go happen, we had the COVID shit happen. There's going to be a third thing happening, I think in September or October. Damn. But it's going to be gnarly. It's going to be like, "Whoa, it's going to be like Really bad. Fuck. 
So that you're asking me, and that's because I've been, this, you know, that's why yeah, I no. stay up all night. I like watch videos and I'm nah, like, no. I think about shit, and I'm like, okay. Uh, you know what? Like, yeah, I didn't mean to like. No, 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 no. It's okay. Go back. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no I, honestly, like at the end of the day, bro, I'm just like, I know this might sound ignorant, or whatever, but like, I kind of feel like I'm just one man with a voice. And I'm gonna do as much as I can to like be positive and push positivity and I, I love that and fucking you know just kind of like taking care of me That's and what's the people up. around me, like you know like like I hate to keep going back to this but just like the whole shit with my mom and just like seeing her like that and just like knowing that she needs my help right now more than anything, I'm just like. Dude, I can fucking care less about whatever but else. But that's you, you just know? said the solution right there. You just said it. It's you got to combat all that shit with just love and exactly. compassion and empathy and all that shit. You feel me? That yeah, I feel you hard because that's they don't like that shit. They don't yeah, like that energy. For sure. They want us to be fighting each fighting other, fighting in fear. Fucking. It's crazy. Like you like, know what I mean? It's crazy. Like race wars and shit going on in like Long Beach and shit like that. That's I'm crazy. actually gonna go to this uh like a like a. Peace Walk, hosted by my good friend Joey Fats. Oh, can we let's a, promote it? What's up? Yeah, with it? Let's, um, let's promote the let's promote it. Right um, now. Friday, July third. I don't know when this is coming out, but it's gonna come out in two weeks. Okay, so it'll already be done <laughs> by then. But um, yeah, we're going on like this. He's throwing like a peace walk because there's been a lot of uh Hispanic black gang stuff yeah, going dude. on and like people just like kind of just doing innocent like doing stuff to innocent people and it's just like really fucked up especially see that's what i'm saying especially that's at a time want. especially at a time where it's like bro like the elites like, want that like we should be you know united and being together that's what i'm talking about they want to divide anything. and conquer and yeah, look man. what they're doing to us now what are we doing at home they're dividing us right yeah and then you even added another element they're even pitting one race against each other which has been going on for years and no, years. No, for sure. And it's you like, know what I, mean? I, I wouldn't even, like, I, I, this that type of shit was going on when I was in high school, and I would not even think that that would still be a thing, you know? Yeah, it's, I it's remember, a major thing. I remember, like, getting into it with the Hispanic gangs, like, when I was in high school. I wasn't even in a gang, but, like, I had to, like, you know, like, hang out with the gang members to make sure I <gasps> wasn't getting fucking jumped. Oh, this by, is high school? Yeah, like, 2000, you know, 10, 2011. So, yeah, like, ta tag bangers, taggers. All that, and all that. Because I went to Hawthorne High School. Yeah. So, there was this, um, I don't want to, like, you know, like. Oh, yeah, we don't, have to, we don't say, have to say, say that. specifics. Yeah, but, <laughs> we like. We don't have to say that. There no, was, like, a, like, Hispanic gang that was very close by, and then, you know. There was Crips and Bloods and shit at yeah. my high school. But there was way more of the Hispanic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dudes. So there was Tongue and Crips, you know, like like Tongans. Like oh the, yeah, I know about Tongans. Yeah, yeah. There are the Tongue and Crips that went to my school, and then yeah. and then you know it's like like the Tongans and the Blacks kind of linked up and like to combat. I don't know, dude. I, Those it, dudes are. Yeah, I know. They're pretty. It's kind of kind of glad diesel, we had, yeah. kind of glad we had them on our yeah, on our yeah, side, you know. There, you but know. yeah, dude, like I, I remember one time I got hit in the face. For what? With a two by four. For what? Like from like wood shop class. For uh, no reason? It was just like, you know, like a kind of like riot going on at the school. And I was like talking to some girl. Like I was literally talking to this girl in the middle of like yeah. them fighting and whatever. Yeah. And I was literally just standing there. And this sh I, I looked it up into the sun and a two by four is flying in th through the like through that's the air. That's crazy. It just hit me in the face. Yeah, that's the crazy. The nails like scratched my face and all this shit. And that's it was, it crazy was for just in wood shop. I was just, you know, no, I, like it was like they took the plank of wood from wood shop and like oh wow. they took the plank yeah, from the inventory yeah, and, and threw, threw it him. on you yeah and it hit me right in the face you, you believe that we're still dealing with this shit it's 20 that's what i'm saying like man, my like, nigga that was 10 alien, years ago there's aliens out there and we're worried about like we're all humans but there's alien races out there there's reptilians and lyrans and we're, we're still dealing with this shit that's what i don't get because i i researched that too i'm like yeah. okay so we're all humans, but then still tripping on petty shit. They like, they you know care, what I mean? They care about who's gay and who's straight and who and whatever, who's dude. black and white and whatever. Yeah, like, dude, dude. I yeah. I don't give a fuck what anybody does in their free time or what their race is or anything. I hear you. I hear you. You know, um, let's suck. I want to let's promote more of you. I want to start promoting more of your, uh, your music and your videos and yes, uh, and all that. So, um, where could people hear your music and download it? Um, I really want to uh, get my Spotify numbers back up. So really check out 
you know, Spotify, a little house phone, all spaced out. A lot of people like to think that it's a little and then a house phone as a, com- the, as a compound yeah, word. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. L I L space house space phone, you know? Like, pe- people try, like, try to combine but it's, it. But it's L I L. Yeah, Lil. Not, oh, yeah, not yeah. Little. It's not Little, it's L I L. Lil. So Lil house. space house Spelled space regular. Mm-hmm. phone. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. And then, um, so are is there- go check out the Big Phone project. It's everywhere on uh, Apple Music, Spotify. Uh, I'm working on a new project right now. I kind of like, I had like took a, a little time off of making music for That's a while. You know, it's like you go through ups and downs. Yeah, yeah and like shit gets kind of yeah, repetitive yeah, yeah. I hear sometimes. You. I totally hear you. And honestly, like, like I had to like find new music to get into to be inspired again. You mm-hmm, know. Mm-hmm. And I was um. Who are you? Some of yours for like who are you? Dude, I, who are I, you inspired by? You know, I was like telling you about the whole Michigan scene or whatever. Yeah. I've been I literally been listening to only that to where I've been like making it now too. Like like because it's it's a very specific sound. Where do you where can you even find their shit? Just on YouTube, dude. You just look at them up. I'll send you links. You man. send me links to that. I want to listen to. Like it. it's like so is it's raw. Like it's, it's like it's so raw and unedited, and the beats are really fast and sped up. Okay, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I like yeah. to call it Adderall music because it just uh, it's yeah, like yeah. fucking like it makes me want to just like. You it know, gets you, snort an Adderall and just go you, shoot it, up a school or something. So, what do you what do you compare to like the, the hyphy movement or like the um you no, know okay. like the you know what it reminds you know what me of like you know what it reminds me of the uh like early 2012 like Chief Keef Chicago drill music scene. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, that's just specific. Yeah, young, young, hungry, hungry, artist, grimy, energy. artist. And they just rap about whatever the fuck is going on, like in their real lives. What's the quality? Does it sound like they're ra- recording on a tape recorder? Or sometimes, something? Some, oh, some, I love that. Sometimes I it sounds that. really fucking like, I love that. like shitty and like you know, like they just like literally rapped into the yeah, yeah, into, into like the MacBook yeah, into with the no, internal mic, you know, with no. I love that, dude. And I like that's I the good shit right there, huh? That's the good shit. <laughs> some some of the some of the lyrics might be a little. Um, a little uh, not that woke, you know. They might be a little. It's uh, all right, man. They're expressing themselves, man. They're rapping. They're expressing themselves. I mean, you know what I mean. It's a uh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes uh, it's a, a, a couple of mentions of violence against women, which is not the best. Okay, that's not cool. But yeah, I know. I know why <laughs> okay, it's all not, right. We don't have to promote not. those artists. No, no, it's but, not. But it's okay, not. okay. It's not. But like. I don't know. I think it's just kind of like normalized. So is it like yeah. angry? Like they're rapping oh, angry? It's like I fucking little like. Kill my cousin if he stole my lean or oh. fucking <laughs> oh, slap my ba- slap music. my baby mama. Or okay, like, it's okay. Like, it's How old are these cats? Probably like early. So I'm not saying they're all okay. Okay, like, yeah, but some, like some, that, yeah, but, yeah. You know, it's just like yeah, it's fucking. So do they all know each other in Flint? Is, are they, is it like a not, collective of of artists? I'm not really like a collective, but a lot yeah. of them, a lot of them collab and shit. And, like, and you know what I will say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't like seen some like that much like weird like online beef where they're all like beefing with each other and shit that's like good. that. They need it. They need to unify. Yeah, they no, need to sure. unify. That's for what sure. that's what will improve their chances if they're unified. You no, know, what dude. I mean? They're they're doing. They're doing you look big at Wu Tang. Right you look at anything successful. They're unified. That's a fact. They do it as a crew. You that's know what I mean? Um, I never really had like a crew. Of people behind that's me. Okay. That's okay. I grew. Okay. I that's grew, fine. You know. That's fine. That's fine. I'm kind of like a drifter. That's like, fine. You're a solo. You're kind of like a hermit solo artist. Yeah, hermit. Yeah. I like that. But you know, it's easier to do that now opposed to like growing up in oh, the nineties. Because yeah. back then you kind of needed a little bit more yeah. push as far as being the affiliations or whatever. Yeah. Now nowadays. Now you could just be in, in wherever in your bedroom in Alaska fucking, in a cabin, facts. and you could just upload. Something and people know who you are. That's, that's fact. crazy to me. That's crazy. I know, that you right? Can do that. That's crazy. No, I know, man. Man, this flew by. I really enjoyed this. It's a sick game. Flew by. No, that was. This was a really good Dude, one. I really enjoyed it. That one, was really awesome. I think it's one of your best ones. I think so too. <laughs> Ren, do, don't you agree? How long have you been interning for him? Um, uh, about a year now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you you, you weren't here when he did any of the, the porn stars or anything crazy? No, no. no. But you, gotta, you know, we're open. We gotta watch him. We gotta watch him when they're when they're around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm respect I'm respectful. Oh no, for uh, sure. Yeah, I don't the thing is you would think I would ask him porn questions. No, I I, but, I watch, but, I watch. But, but, but I ask him like, Oh, you like going to Disneyland? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I yeah. I really wanna have uh one of my friends, Arietta, come come do this whenever she's I'm in town again. Can you write her information? Yeah, down? for sure. I'll send she, you her is inter- she open to coming here. Yeah, for sure. And, if you, and afterwards, once we're done, can you write down 
other fit like good fits you would think would be a good one thousand percent one thousand percent dude um let's uh let's uh, let's end it with i want you to shout out all of your um social your youtube uh if you want to shout out no jumper do that and if you have merch just push all your stuff um so i've been working on this little side project that i haven't really uh revealed to anybody so go ahead and follow high rollers 777 on instagram follow me at little house phone on instagram spotify little house phone little house just little house phone wherever the fuck except for twitter because they mm-hmm. got me out of there a long time ago uh, twitter. fuck twitter yeah. you know you certify you're, you have the check mark huh? i on instagram but i did not have it on twitter they that's, fucking got me out of here. I had the same one since high school. That's cool, And it was man. fucking fire. It was like, honestly, I used to love Twitter way more than anything else. I don't, I'm not even on it, dude. I'm it scared was, of it, actually. What's happening? Well, now now you can get Kim. one thing. It uh, wasn't like that at first. I didn't want to bring it up, but, you know, like, because my brother's oh, a comedian, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, of course. Like, the whole Chris D'Elia thing. I didn't bring it up. I it's a lot of shit. But, it's, dude, that dude was on top of the mountain, right? It and then, me, what, like, what? That Rossi, one or two tweets, and then next thing you know... He's labeled as that. It's fucked, man. There's no innocent till proven guilty. You could just boom, right? You're actually and you're done, guilty dude. until proven innocent nowadays. You're done. You're done. And it's like some people have like bounced back from it and some people have like managed yeah, to like, you know. Effort, dude. Yeah, bear. I, mean, I guess it, the legal not only that, the legal team you need to even mm. you, know you know what I mean? You know who fucking combated it the best, like in the fastest I've ever seen was fucking Justin Bieber. Oh, they he, like he came. Can't. It was like he less than twenty four hours. And yeah, he, he had he had fucking receipts. Defamation. He got him back. He had defamation. receipts. Yeah, he had. Well, receipts. that's what. Think about but Justin Bieber's what team. What do you learn from that? You gotta get keep your receipts. I don't have any. Okay, or emails. All right, we'll we'll, we'll go. I was gonna say I don't have any. We don't have to open that jar. <laughs> we don't. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Um, we have um a Patreon attached to the show. If you want to keep. Um, this uh, podcast alive, P- please go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Our newest patrons this week are uh, Sweet Cool Breeze, Jack Le- Learoid, Marco Flores. Shout out to Marco. Thank Shout you, Marco, Marco, for that donation too, Marco. Much love. Uh, Caleb McLeod and Isaiah Kilby. Uh, we're working. I'm working on a new music video. I still need to do a more art for it. Pod in, the pod in which we travel. It should be out next month. We, we're still working on it. I have a website at StevieWeebyShow.com if you want to pick up a t-shirt. And, and on to the t-shirt orders. They're kind of delayed because of COVID yes, and the uh, quarantine right now. So the shipping is a little delayed because it's all messed up out there. But I am keeping my eye on Every single order that I'm getting every day, I, I have a list right here, and I'm, I'm emailing you guys back, and I'm doing everything on my end. But I'll keep you guys, if you do get a shirt, know it's going to be delayed. Delayed. Okay, so go to Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U for my Instagram. Uh, all my music's at StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. If you want to send stuff, I have a P.O. Box uh, vlog series called uh, Stevie's P.O. Box. Send all your packages to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Support all my friends' podcasts, uh, Losco Projects, uh, Necroelectric, WFE, and No Jumper. Necrophiliac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time for Low Ray's World. Welcome to Low Ray's World Show. All I gotta say is kids' minds must grow. I got abducted by some aliens dropped in snow. Whoa. Stuck into a world that I do not know. So join me in adventures now. And I promise not to have a cow. My name is Little Ray. Hey, hey. My name is Little Ray, hey, 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 so welcome to my world, to all the boys and girls. Welcome to Little Ray's world, hee-haw! Well, what the hell do we got here this week? Beep, looks like a goddamn toothpick, man. Hello? Hello? Let me 
me see if I understand what you just said, Mr. Toothpick. You said your name was Nick. You were in high school. You weighed 85 pounds, and you were on the varsity football team for Evergreen High School, man? Well, what the hell is an 85-pounder doing playing football anyway, son? <laughs> So during your, uh, just during your game against Hamilton High there, uh, you were the running back, and uh, they uh, gave you the ball, and the linebacker crushed your bones, didn't he? Uh, then what else happened, son? Wait a minute. Are you saying the rest of the football team Dog piled on you and crushed every bone in your goddamn body, and you died, didn't you? <sighs> well, me and Beep will be your friend. No one's going to hurt you on this plane. But we did write a song about you, Nick, and it goes like this, son. This one's about Nick the Toothpick, kids. Listen up. Nick the Toothpick, man, mm. Ninjas get a grip, Nick. You're a toothpick stick. Close to me and beat. They're trying to treat you like a trick, Nick. They broke you like a twig, quick. On the football field, slip the linebacker, picked you out, tackled you onto your hip. That's when the dog pile formed and you heard a click. Every bone inside your body crushed and you couldn't dip. Wishing that you were more thick, the blood was gushing out your lip. Join us in about a week or so for another episode of Little Ray's World, man. And make sure you go to www.steebyweebyshow.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt or something, man. Let's get her done.